everyone, I'm Valerie Crabb. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you part of the family here on YouTube. Girl, today we're going to be talking about three ways you are sabotaging yourself and staying stuck. Now, you may or may not know that your girl has been in the gym. So I have a little protein shake here. I'm actually almost done with it, but you know, your girl got to get it in. She got to get her protein in. So, mmm. Cheers to evolving. So you may be feeling a little stuck. You may feel like you're in a rut. You may feel like you want more out of life and you feel like you deserve more, you want more or whatever the case may be. But for whatever reason, you just feel like your life has hit a plateau, like you're just literally stuck. And I'm here to tell you, sis, that although life has its challenges and, you know, we are thrown things left and right, maybe that's family, school, work, or whatever, the primary reason that you are stuck or that you're not moving along in life is because of you, sis, okay? So one of the reasons why you may be stuck is because you don't feel like it, so you don't do it. Now let me tell you something. It is okay to not feel like doing something, and it is okay to take your rest days. However, when this is your primary thing, day after day, you have made it a habit of when I don't feel like doing something, I don't do it. You sabotage yourself by coming up with something else just to like move peas on the plate, but it's not really being effective. You scroll on Instagram, you turn on Netflix, you go to the bar with your friends or whatever the case may be. You do things that do not move the needle towards the goals that you know you have set, right? For instance, this morning, girl, I didn't feel like doing anything, absolutely nothing. I didn't want to get out of bed. It was gloomy. I didn't sleep well. I was hungry. I was irritable. I did not want to do anything today. But guess what? I have a busy week. I Today is not the day for me to be resting. Today is the day for me to be working. So what did I do? I went to the gym. I pulled myself together. I'm recording this YouTube video. Like I'm doing what it is that I need to do even on the days when I don't feel like it because at the end of the day, these are the things that are going to move the needle. These are the things that are like I'm pouring into y'all. It it feeds me like I feel like this is my purpose. So at the end of the day, I feel fulfilled um, going to the gym, moving my body. It just makes me feel good. And when I see those results and when my body is not in pain because I'm used to moving it and I have that mobility those are the things that really count. You have to figure out what it is that, what is your main reason? Why are you doing this thing? Um, maybe you don't feel like going to work, but you know you're up for a promotion. Maybe you don't feel like sending those emails, but you know if I don't send emails, text, any type of marketing, no one would remember about my business and I need money to sustain this business. Um, maybe you don't feel like doing the schoolwork, but you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Well, you have to do the schoolwork. There's always going to be things in life that we don't feel like doing. But girl, you literally have to do it because if not, you're going to stay stuck. You're going to stay at a plateau. And then you're going to look up three months from now, three years from now even, and you're going to be like, what was I doing? Like I had the opportunity. I had the youth. I had the energy. Why did I not just put in the work? So it's okay to not want to do it. It's not so okay to constantly not do the thing, right? So figure out what your thing is, what you're going to commit to, and let's get it done, sis. Number two is your comfort zone. Your plan is safe, and I get it, girl. The comfort zone just feels so good. It's easy. It feels good. It's safe. And it's keeping you stuck, sis. You are not shaking things up. You are constantly doing the same routine day in and day out. You're constantly talking to the same five people day in and day out. You are constantly have your routine of scrolling on Instagram, watching YouTube videos, binging episodes on Netflix, you're constantly taking the same route to work, doing the same work day in and day out. And that can be boring. It can be boring. It could be rewarding. If it's rewarding for you, sis, this section is not for you. 
But if you are in your comfort zone and you have not shaken things up a bit, let me challenge you, sis, to kind of shake things up. Pull out that journal, okay? Pull out that journal that has all those ideas and lists and goals and places that you want to travel and just pick one thing. I'm not even I'm not even making it hard. Y'all know I typically be like three things, five things. Just pick one thing that you can commit to to shake things up a bit. You've been wanting to take a staycation. Go ahead and take the staycation. You know, um, come up with some new habits. My habit is I love reading, you guys. Um, now I love going to the gym, but I want something that's going to help me connect with other people and get outside of my home, right? So I can talk to people, interact with new people, meet new people. So I've been looking at different classes that I can take from pottery classes, hot yoga, dance classes, um, even floral type classes. Like there are so many things that I can do during the day when I dedicate this time and just try to pick up a new habit. If you don't have any, um, if you, if you're like on a budget and you're kind of like on a no spin or anything like that, grab your girls and like, Hey, let's go play pickleball. Let's go play tennis. Those things are free. I mean, granted, you got to get like the equipment or whatever, but once you have the equipment, y'all can go, that may be like a new hobby that y'all link up and you know, you can connect with your, your people outside of like FaceTime and social media. Um, there are so many things that you can do. Go to a museum, um, join a book club. That's something else that I've been really looking into is like joining a book club because I'm going to have to interact with people or maybe even start my own book club. Like there's just so many different things. But when we're so just used to staying in this same routine, this doing the same old things day in and day out, it is literally keeping our life like this. And we are not, it's like on a, y'all saw how my hand was kind of going down. It's like a slow, a very, very slow decline. And you don't even notice it because you feel like, oh, well, I'm doing what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm going to work I'm, or, or maybe you have a business like me. I'm working on my business. I'm doing these YouTube videos. I'm pouring into my family. I'm carving out time for my loved ones. You know what I mean? But it's like, but what are you doing for you? Like, how are you really moving the needle to have like this fulfilled life and not feel stuck? So it's extremely important for you to identify what is it that I can be doing? Maybe try something new quarterly you know what I'm saying I've shared with you before how hubby and I are doing quarterly dates that are going to be experiences and not just our standard going out to eat now we have shaken things up with going out to eat and trying new restaurants that has been a bust I'm like I don't want to try any more new restaurants <laughs> like I want to stick to what we know we know the food is going to be good but I am definitely down for trying new experiences, meeting new people, connecting with new people, um, finding more like new married friends and things like that. So that's kind of like been our thing. So not only just in your personal life, but also in your relationships as well. Um, Riley and I, we have been doing different things for like mommy daughter dates and just things like that. So how can you shake it up a bit? How can you get out of this routine? Like I said, you're taking the same route to work. Maybe take a different route. You may, instead of going to the Target that's always by you, go to a different Target. You never know who you may run into, who you may meet. They may have something totally different. I know that these are like small little things, but I, pr I promise you guys, it makes a difference. Um, and again, I've shared before, like if you know your dream neighborhood, stop going to your target like maybe just carve out once a month i'm going to go explore this target explore this shopping center explore this restaurant that's in my dream neighborhood get acclimated do something different switch up the environment um and stop just staying so stuck in your own little world in your own little circle if sis if you okay want to get unstuck if you want to shake things up a bit okay and lastly you lack self-reflection lacking self-reflection is keeping you stuck you have to be self-aware okay the inner work right being self-aware and having these self-reflections self-reflections you guys i do these about once a month where i just really take a deep dive over my life like what have I done this month? What moved the needle? How did I feel? Was I at peace? Did I feel love? 
did I, do I feel like I gave out love? Do I feel like I poured into my community? Um, did I, you know, pour into my friendships and things like that? But most importantly, did I pour into myself? And if I did pour into myself, in what way? And is, is that even in a way that I want to pour into myself, right? So just thinking about these things and like, um, I try to reflect over my days at the end of the night and like I replay conversations in my mind and I'm like, hmm, I really love how I have grown and I really love how I really didn't go off because there was a time where I would have went off in this situation and I really love how I handled this situation. And there may be other times where I'm like, you know what, I didn't handle that. My verbiage wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. I need to work on that. And so when you don't take these self-reflections and you just kind of like, my attitude is my attitude. It is what it is. This is how I am. I'm not going to change. Girl, That you are literally staying stuck mentally. You need to unlearn that this is just how I am. Any given time, sis, if you want to change, you literally can. If you have the desire to not have an attitude all the time, you, you don't have to have an attitude all the time. If you have the desire to be at peace, you will really start to learn and figure out like, what brings me peace? What do I need to do every single day, every other day, weekly, monthly, to help me find my zen and literally be at peace? I've told you guys over and over and over again, I have to, have to, have to wake up at five o'clock hour, okay, while my house is still asleep. I need that time in the morning because if not, and I wake up when they wake up and I'm hitting the ground running and I don't have that time to myself to spend time with God and pray and meditate and you know sometimes I just sit in silence sometimes I read a book I've been trying to switch things up because y'all know I told y'all I love a good scroll sis okay but I've been switching that scroll to like maybe listening to a very common and relaxing podcast a very calm and relaxing meditation um, or just literally sitting in silence and letting my house speak okay like just letting just hearing all the like nooks and cracks and crannies of the house and the refrigerator making ice and just having that moment of just like to breathe and pause because I know once my day gets started, your girl is going to be on go, 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 go mode. Spend time with my little. My husband is going to be wanting me to wish shoe goes with his outfit and then I'm going to hit it at the gym and then I need to make sure I call my mom and all of these things of my to-do list is going to be filled with. And so I like to have a Zen moment at the beginning of the day where I'm not doing anything. And for you, sis, it might be nighttime, right? So if you do want it to be at nighttime, it can be at nighttime, but you won't know what you need or what you want if you don't reflect and take that self-reflection of like, oh my gosh, I'm just so overly stimulated. Why are you overly stimulated? Journal these things down. What have you been doing? Do you have too many tabs open? Um, also, something that I realized is that I have to do a brain dump. Sometime throughout the day, I have to do a brain dump. Now, I was trying to be really strict about this and like, oh, I'm going to do this in the morning, every morning, I'm just going to write, blah, blah, blah. I can't, I can't, I can't commit to that, okay? But I can commit to every day. So sometime throughout the day, whether it's in my notes section, I'll grab a journal, I need to brain dump. All of these tabs that are open in my mind, I need to get them out on paper where I can visually see them. And then I can just start ticking stuff off. Like, okay, we already did that. Okay, well, that's not until three months from now. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Like all of this stuff and kind of like I'm able to like categorize my thoughts and it just really, really helps me a lot. And also just self-reflecting on um, my, my attitude, how I treat my peers, how I'm feeling. I've been very in tune with my body. Self-reflection is really, really important. Take responsibility for your actions or the lack thereof, okay? When you sit down and you say, wow, I really said I was going to start a business two years ago and I haven't started it. Why have I, how, why have I not started this business? And yes, you could say school. Yes, you could say work. Yes, you could say the kids. Yes, you could say all of these things. But at the end of the day, girl, it's you. There's somebody out there that's in school, that's working, that have kids that are killing it and, and that has a business. 
I know one personally. Her name is Tasha Tuck. Shameless plug. Check out our podcast. Let me call my bestie podcast with <laughs> with my bestie, Tasha Tuck. She is literally out here getting it and killing it, right? Maybe you said like, oh, I'm going to leave this job at the end of the year. And it's been three years since you said that. Well, why have you not left that job? Maybe you got the promotion. Or maybe you're just comfortable. That goes back to like your comfort zone. You learn that by self-reflection. Why are you still there? You know what I'm saying? Have you even filled out new job applications? Have you done the work? Are you putting in the work to change things up, to shift things, to make your life better? But yeah, girl, that's it. Those are the three things that are possibly keeping you stuck, okay? And it is okay, girl. The, these are like easy things, easy fixes. I'm trying not to be so hard on you guys, and I want to come to you with simple solutions. So the simple solution for number one, you don't feel like it, so you don't do it, is simply do it, okay? Maybe you have five things on your to-do list. Knock out two of those things, okay? Knock out three of those things, but do something that is going to move the needle. Figure out which ones are the most important, which ones have to be done, and do those things. Your comfort zone, get out of your comfort zone. Like I said, try new hobbies. Come up with new habits, a different routine. Take a new route to work, whatever. That is an easy fix for you being stuck in your comfort zone, right? And for the last one, self-reflection, it's literally just checking in with yourself. How do I feel? How do I want to feel? Am I at peace? Do I love my job? Do I feel fulfilled? What will make me feel fulfilled? Um, what content am I consuming? Who are the people that I'm around? Do I like these people? Do they like me? Um, just all of these things of like the questions that you can ask yourself and check in with yourself with. Um, these are super, super easy things, you guys. It does not have to be hard, difficult, and you don't have to do all the things at once, but literally just picking one to two things from each category that you can focus on. All right, girl, that's it. That's all I have for you for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you Sunday for the weekly vlog. Bye.